My name is Kyle Davis, and today we're going to talk about high availability and the features of Redis Enterprise that help to achieve that. Let's quickly review the top failures we're trying to guard against when we say high availability. Database processes terminating, machines and instances or networks all dropping, racks and clouds dying, or entire data centers dying. We're trying to make sure that systems are available to serve users as much as possible, but also stay performant. Having your database up is okay. Having your database up and performant, that's better. With Redis Enterprise, you have multiple features available to you to help resolve these common failures. First, let's talk about and demo Redis Enterprise's multiple master and shard capabilities. Redis Enterprise has the ability to easily create, manage, and seamlessly fail over multiple shards. Your data is safe and availability is maintained because the database's shards, both master and slave, are spread over multiple nodes of the cluster and Redis Enterprise can promote a slave to be a master as needed. One of the best parts is that Redis Enterprise manages much of the complexity for you all under the hood. I'm going to do a quick demo of failover with Redis Enterprise. I have an existing database set up and a load generator running. As you can see, I am pushing about 600,000 operations per second. I'm going to go into the database and enable clustering. Go to the configuration tab, scroll to the bottom, click edit, and enable clustering with two shards. Click update, wait for it to change. Okay, see that performance increase? We're up to about 800 to 900,000 operations per second. Now let's enable replication of those shards so we can see some HA capabilities. Go to the configuration tab, click edit, tick the replication box, and then click update. If you've not used it before, there is a command line tool in Redis Enterprise called RL Admin. This lets you see, configure, and control most aspects of the cluster and nodes. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's do info cluster to show what our cluster is like, and then we'll run a status. This will give you an overview of the entire cluster. Now I'm going to use RL admin to fail over a shard quickly. Fail over shard, and we'll pick one. Let's just say shard number 38. You can see that's processing now. Okay. And then if we look at the metrics over here, we can see it as well. There's a blip in latency and lower throughput, but let's look at the application. Still humming along. Here you see that I have a Redis Pack cluster with two databases created. I'm going to go ahead and click on the database, then the Configuration tab, scroll down, and click the Edit button. I'm going to tick the Replica Of box, and then the Plus box. By default, Redis Pack will populate the information necessary to replicate to another database in this cluster. If you need replication to a different cluster, you change the connection information to point to that database instead. Then you'll click the OK button, the little icon to save. And then you'll scroll down and click the Update button. And now we have data replicating from one database to the other database. Super simple, right? Like I said before, if we wanted to set this up between two separate Redis Pack clusters, the process would be nearly identical. 